Episode 7 was called The Escape. It was directed by Sanford Bookstaver, and it was written by Josh Schwartz. It had 8.8 .8 million people watching, which was a step down from episodes 5 and 6, but it was still higher than the first four episodes. The original air date was September 16th, 2003. This is where the OC found its niche. It's an extraordinary episode, and I can go on and on about it, but to throw a few things out of the way, Melinda Clark does not appear in this episode. Um, Jimmy kisses Kirsten. I only have one major complaint over this episode, and it is it is kind of a bad thing. There's the core four, Brian, Seth, Summer, and Marissa, are in the two beds in that hotel when they stop, when they're stopped on the road. And when Brian and Marissa were in bed together, the camera pulled out. It was a ripoff of the Dawson's Creek pilot, and I just couldn't get over that. It looked exactly like the Dawson's Creek pilot episode. It was the first time where I saw a heavy influence from previous shows on this show. One of the things that was great... About Beverly Hills 90210, it started it all. Dawson's Creek created its own identity. I feel like the OC does that, but that was so heavily Dawson's Creek that I just, I don't, I don't know really what to say about it. Oh man. But this episode was fantastic. Everything that you want from the OC is within this episode. There's the quirky humor between Seth and Summer, which just, that's not really my cup of tea. It's not the reason that I watch the show, but I can understand the appeal. I think the reason the world watched the show, especially during its first year, was because it had a broad range. The ending. That for me is what the show is all about. The quirky humor is fine, but it's not going to mean anything, and it's not going to get grab your attention unless there's an emotional appeal. And that is exactly what happens at the end of this episode. This episode was an extraordinary, extraordinary episode. It's by far the best so far.